Hey everybody, my name is Brian Hauer and I just bought a 2021 Tesla Model Y and I'm gonna be taking it around the country camping and gonna be uh, basically off-grid using only electric um, from the car to charging my devices, you know, iPhone, MacBook, things like that. And then uh, using a Jackery 1500 with solar panels along with cooking electric you know, of course, and campfire. But yeah, I'm gonna be heading out west, out to, uh, from Arizona to California, to Washington, Colorado, Montana, you know, all the, all basically all out west. I'm gonna be camping for about six months. Gonna be completely off grid. I'll, I mean, for the most part, I will uh, occasionally stop at some Airbnbs, some hotels, things like that, just to break things up, do laundry. But yeah, I'm just gonna head out west. Uh, I'm going actually up north first to Minneapolis and gonna be uh, testing all of the gear that I got, everything, I'm at my buddy's cabin um, outside of the Twin Cities. So I plan to do that uh, this weekend, and I'm leaving uh, Nashville, actually, uh, where I have some family. I'm heading up toward, uh, like I said, the Twin Cities, and I'll be doing that today. So we're looking at probably, I'm stopping at a hotel in between, so we're looking uh, at about 10 hours up to, nine or 10 hours up to Iowa. Um, I'll be supercharging the whole way, but it should be, it should be a nice fun drive. It's like 65, 70 degrees out right now, so it's a beautiful day for a drive. Just looking forward to uh, finally doing this. I've been planning this for probably about, I'm guessing, probably about eight months now, nine months. And I had originally planned on doing an RV, doing like a Winnebago 24D style, but then just decided that the future is electric. Yeah, I mean, it just is. Every car company over the next 10 years is going all electric. You know, there's a lot of things going on in the world. Even right now in the Southeast, there's a huge gas shortage because of uh, hackers took over a pipeline. So with all those things, and then, you know, you pile on that we've pretty much been trapped inside for the last year with the pandemic. I just decided I wanna get out, I wanna camp. I just wanna like go out and uh, see some places I haven't been to, really get out in the wilderness, you know, see some nature, see some bears, things like that. So. Hopefully we'll be safe, but uh, I think I got all the equipment, you know, and been doing enough research to do things right. But it'll definitely be a learning experience. I'm not necessarily an outdoorsman, although, uh, you know, I did grow up camping, but this is just something new to try. And I just think it's gonna be a lot of fun. You know, after spending a year inside during the pandemic, it's like, you know what? Time to get out, use the new future of transport with electric cars, and just to see how much can I actually travel around the United States with just electricity. Not only in my car, but to power all my devices, my cooking, things like that. So I'll be going through all of the stuff that I have uh, as far as equipment uh, to make all this happen. And I'll be doing that in a future video because there's a lot of cool stuff that I got. So uh, today I'm gonna head from Nashville here up to Iowa City, I think Iowa, and tomorrow to Des Moines to grab a cargo box, uh, which I'll be putting on the top of uh, the Tesla Model Y that I have. And then I will be heading up to the Twin Cities and like I said, getting that installed, putting everything I got to the test over the weekend at my buddy's cabin and just kind of testing everything out. So I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. And if you wanna come along for the ride, I thought it'd be kind of cool to document the whole thing and just see how many cool adventures I can get into. So if you wanna come along for the ride and you think this might be something that you wanna do or you find interesting, feel free to subscribe and follow along on the journey. Today I'm gonna to head up toward uh, kind of like Paducah, Kentucky, and then head around uh, the Illinois border up to St. Louis, and from St. Louis on up to Iowa City. So I think there's probably about four, three or four supercharger uh, stops along the way. As you can see here, I think we're going up toward, it's called the Minor Missouri Supercharger. It is 164 miles away. As you can see, I have 284 miles available right now in the car. Max range is 326. So, you know, it's probably a little less than that. It's probably more around 295, maybe 300 without a roof rack on top. But, uh, so I should have no problem getting there. I'll stay there for about 20 minutes or so and charge up until I'm on to the next one in St. Louis. There might be another supercharger between St. Louis and Iowa City, but I can't remember right now. But I think it's like three uh, supercharging stops along the way. And I don't think I should have to charge more than like 20, 25 minutes. Also, one other thing I wanted to say about the supercharging network is that most of the ones, actually almost all of them are level two or three, which means they're gonna be 150 kilowatt 
or 250 kilowatt for the fastest version three charging. So again, you're looking at between 20 and like 35 minutes on average for to get like, you know, let's say from like 20% up to 80 or 90%. Once you get past 80%, it definitely slows down the charge just like your cell phone does, just like your iPhone or Android, things will slow down once they get above 80%. That's why you always see companies like uh, Apple, Samsung, OnePlus, you know, whoever else uh, in the cell phone game, they'll always talk about how much their, their phone goes from like zero to 50%. Because the first half is always really fast. It's after that it starts to slow down. And once it gets to like 80%, then it really slows down. So with the supercharging network being so vast, you should be able to just stop like 15, 20 minutes. And it'll tell you right on the screen how much you know it'll be to the next uh, supercharger. So it'll say, you know, to this one, you might have 35%. And if you wanna push it a little bit more, you, this one will have 17%, or this one will have 2%. Once you get down to those numbers, you gotta kind of make sure that you're actually getting the range that you're that you're getting. You don't have too much weight on the car, or the, you know, there's not too much wind and stuff like that. But I think if you keep anything above 5% for that destination, that should be pretty safe from what I've seen. Most of the stuff that I'll be doing, I'll probably try to keep like a 10% reserve, you know, getting to a destination. So, but with the vast network, you shouldn't have to wait that much longer. You know, with a gas car, it's five minutes and you're gone. But if you go inside and get something to drink or, you know, go to the bathroom, it's really not that much different. And don't have to go to any gas stations, so that's kind of cool too. But this is all just gonna be super fun, super new to me. This is literally the first day I got cameras set up. I have no idea what I'm doing, but I just think it'll be kind of fun. So again, if you wanna come along for the ride, hit the subscribe button. I think this is gonna be a pretty fun six months. Okay, let's go. Okay, so just cruising here in Tennessee and gonna activate autopilot by just hitting down twice on the stock here on the right. And as you can see, it's uh, engaged. And now autopilot's taken over. So uh, this isn't even the full self-driving either. This is just autopilot. So to change lanes, uh, I need to do that myself. But actually, to be honest with you, I feel a little more comfortable right now doing that. Um, I know the beta version of full self-driving has uh, the ability to you know, change lanes on its own and all that, but there's still little quirks and things like that and little bugs they gotta iron out before I feel comfortable enough to let it just completely drive on its own. But right now, um, everything else is just uh, taken care of. Uh, once me, it'll, you see the little blue there on the screen that wants me to uh, make sure that I touch the steering wheel a little bit and give it a little resistance. But uh, other than that, it just kind of cruises. So what I usually try to do is just kind of leave my hand on my knee here and that resistance enough right there, just touching the wheel, um, that's enough for uh, autopilot to just stay engaged and, and kind of drive the car on its own. I'm not touching the brake pedal or the gas or accelerator, I should say, or really steering. It's doing everything for me. Um, again, if I need to change lanes, I go ahead and just do that myself. And otherwise, it probably takes away like, I feel like 75% of just the concentration that you need uh, on a trip. So you still have to be ready and take over whenever uh, you know you need to. But, uh, and that's this, not only what Tesla says, but that's just kind of being smart.
right, so we're here at the Supercharger in Cudawa, Kentucky, and going to get out and do my first supercharging event of the trip. Ah, nice, beautiful out. All right, so we get it here, take it right off there, hit the button, and of course it didn't do anything. <laughs> I don't know why I'm having trouble with with that. It's gonna plug that in. Should go green. You can see that in a second. Oh yeah, there we go. So it says <laughs> took me a minute there. Now it says uh, it is charging. You can see that it went to. I don't know if you can see that, but it went to green. And uh, no no credit card needed. Nothing like that. You just uh, it's you just add a credit card to your Tesla account. When you buy the car and it automatically uh you know knows who to charge and you just come up pop it in the uh, charger and wait probably you know 15 20 minutes that's it okay so let's take a look at the charging here so i am uh at a 150 kilowatt uh, version 2 supercharger here in cutawa kentucky and it shows uh 10 minutes remaining which will give me plenty of uh, juice to get on to minor missouri but i think i want to just give it a little bit more time and maybe skip that and go on to the st louis one but we'll see we're getting about 135 138 kilowatts on this charging session it says only 10 minutes but we'll probably like i said stay a little bit longer as you can see too my uh miles is up to 132 and it's again it says only five minutes so i don't know why it wants me to stop at this place somebody's got to help me out on that i put in that i wanted to go to minor missouri because it had showed previously that i would have like 17 or 19 percent or somewhere around there when i went to minor and so there was really no reason to stop in cutawa kentucky and so uh, i was planning to go to minor but then all of a sudden it kept telling navigation kept telling me to stop here in Cudawa and even when I pushed minor it would still tell me to go here now it's only showing me with two percent uh if I went on to minor so I'm wondering if maybe I lo just lost range or there's you know a headwind I mean a yeah like a headwind or something like that and that caused me to lose some range regardless I ended up just deciding to stop here so uh, it says only a 10 minute charge and then that'll get me on to the next one I know that Tesla likes you to kind of charge for a short time and then move on to the next one I'll try to stretch out as much as I can this one was kind of funny so I'm not exactly sure why I guess I must have lost a lot of range or something like that and that's why it would have said I would have only had two percent when I got there but nonetheless if you have any suggestions on that or why uh, you know, that would go from like 17 to 2 or why it kept, you know, rerouting me and telling me to stop at Cudawa, uh Kentucky instead of going on to, to Minor, Missouri. Let me know in the comments below. So regardless, uh, don't want to get too close to, you know, under 5% uh, range going to a place. So I guess it just wanted me to stop off a little early and get some uh, charge here. So I'll go ahead and do that and get back on the road and head toward uh, St. Louis area. As you can see now, I am packed to the limits here in the car so there's actually a cooler in here filled with stuff <laughs> there's stuff on the ground over here there is stuff in the back here as you can see i got my osmo actions up here on the the windows got my osmo, osmo pocket there on the dashboard and this is all covered with a blanket right now but it's all the camping gear that i have for this trip as well as um, everything from uh a small electric grill to an actual bathroom <laughs> to a shower to um you know pretty much a bed for, for here in the tesla uh pretty much everything you can think of uh, the jackery 1500 for uh, powering everything on the trip and so i uh, really like I, I, tons of stuff most of that is going to go in a cargo box on top I'm picking that up tomorrow in Des Moines, Iowa, and then I'm staying in Iowa City and then heading to Des Moines in the mor uh, tomorrow morning. I'll pick that up and then on up to uh, Minneapolis. So I'm looking forward to putting together a video with all of the gear that I got uh, for camping and for living what you need to live off grid for, I don't know, the next four to six months uh, in an electric vehicle.
So if you're interested in that, again, make sure to subscribe and we will probably be putting out one to two videos a week right now and we'll just see how that goes and hopefully you enjoy it. If not, that's cool, not a problem. You can watch something else, plenty of other videos on YouTube. But if electric vehicles, camping, living off grid, those types of things, using solar power to uh, power you know, all your devices, things like that, if that interests you, I think you're probably gonna be interested in this channel. So hope you stick around. It looks like I'm almost done charging. So I will see you guys later. All right, looks like it's time to go on to the next destination. Looks like it's going to take me to Minor anyways, and then from there I'll go north up to, uh, probably charge a little bit there and then go north up to St. Louis. All right. So we will hit the button, pull that out, pull it right up here. That's basically it. We're off to Minor, Missouri. All right, so real quick before I head off to Minor, Missouri, it shows I should have 29% when I get there. So we'll see how accurate that is. Hey, darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling, we could get out of town. See the beautiful world around, want to see it now. Pack our bags and get in that car. Leave a little note and we'll drive real far. Let's get out, we can leave this city. Let's drive to the open air. Yeah, the countryside is so pretty. for the next supercharger. Now take exit 67 on the right. In 1,000 feet, turn left onto East Malone Avenue. Looks like it's right off the freeway, like most of them are. It should be right up here by this hotel, maybe the Drury Inn. Should be coming up on it here. This is the, I think, the town of Minor, Missouri. Now turn right onto State Highway H. Now turn right onto Railroad Drive. Yeah, looks to be it. Usually it's in the back somewhere. Although it doesn't really give the greatest directions on where. Here. In 500 feet, you will arrive at your destination. Yeah, it's on the back end of this uh, jewelry suites. It is at the uh, El Brazzaro Mexican Grill. Not a lot of action back here. And we're here. Okay, so I ended up getting to Minor, Missouri and have about 94 miles left. It ended up being right, they said it should be around 29% when I got here and it ended up being right around 30%. So it was pretty much dead on. So uh, I will be looking, I think the next stop is gonna be up towards St. Louis. Let's see if I can bring it out here. Okay, yeah, it looks like uh, we're right down here, near Minor, Missouri, and we're just going to take like 55 up to St. Louis, and I think we're going to stop at this uh, 
uh, right next to O'Fallon, Missouri, on the northwest side of St. Louis. So we'll stop there at the next stop. Um, I'll have to see how far that is. Yeah, it's the St. Charles one. 139 miles. Although that's only a 72 watt or 72 kilowatt uh, charging station, so I think I don't think that's possible yet. So let me see what I should do. Yeah, I am getting uh, about 139, 140 kilowatts uh, on this charging session. So it says 20 minutes uh, to get on to uh, St. Charles, Missouri, which is northwest of St. Louis. So I think uh, probably hang out here around a half hour, something like that. I'm going to run into the restroom at one of these places, and we'll be back shortly. Okay, so here in Minor, Missouri, still supercharging. Um, I'm the only one here. There are eight stalls, and I'm the only one here. There was a guy here in a brand new Model Y as well, uh, and he was over there. But there's nobody here, but I'm at only at like 70%, 75%, but it's really slowing down. It's already down to 71 kilowatts uh, right now. So, you know, it's supposed to be 150 here, but uh, the next stop we're planning to do here is St. Charles, which is northwest uh, St. Louis. And let's zoom out here and make this, yeah. Yeah, there we go. So there's St. Charles, but I actually think there's a couple other ones. I want to see. That is 150 kilowatt. Okay, we're definitely going to that one right there. So yeah, the St. Charles, Missouri supercharger. So let's see, 141 miles. We have 228 right now. So should not be a problem, although it says to stick around for a little bit longer. I don't know, it's really windy out, so that could have something to do with it, but uh, not exactly sure. So if anybody knows, let me know in the comments. How you doing? Getting some McDonald's. Thank you. You. Thanks. Appreciate it. Doesn't get much better driving conditions than this. It's literally. Well, it's 67 now. It was 75 about a half hour, 45 minutes ago. Um, perfect. I mean, just put it on autopilot and cruise all the way there. Should be up in uh, the St. Louis area in about an hour and eight minutes. I'll see you at the next supercharger. All right, just getting now through. take exit 20 B 20 A on the right. All right, just getting through the uh, St. Louis metro area, going around, I think on 270 around it. Should be at the St. Charles Supercharger in approximately eight minutes. Okay, so just got to St. Charles, Missouri, uh, the uh, Supercharger here and should be 150 kilowatts. Uh, we have 15% remaining. It said that we should probably end up with what, 13 to 15%, so that was pretty much dead on. Um, we, if you can see, I got, uh, oops, miles, let's go to distance. Yeah, 48 miles left, and that equals 15%. So we'll stay here. Uh, I think the next stop is in Iowa, which might even be the last stop for tonight at the hotel. So, and then as far as uh, tomorrow, I think on the way up to Minnesota, I'm going to probably calculate things a little bit better today with the cameras and stuff, trying to do everything at once and drive. It was a little chaotic, but I think tomorrow I'm going to try to list exactly like how many miles it was from, you know, point A to point B, what the percentages were, what my, uh, how many miles it says, uh, it's going to take things like that. So 
a uh, little more in depth as far as as that but uh, this should at least give you for my first day with it, it should give you at least a little bit of idea about traveling cross country with a tesla so stopped at the saint charles missouri supercharger and what did i see what? all right so i'm here at the saint charles missouri supercharger just uh, getting one last top off for the night before getting to, I think it's Corville, Iowa. And uh, I'll probably charge there actually before I go into the hotel. But like I mentioned, uh, when I said that I had a uh, lot of stuff in here, well, let's take a look. <laughs> so it's basically filled all the way probably, well, as you can see, almost to the top but uh, got some shades in there, uh, Jackery, some of my drone, a bunch of other stuff, uh, fridge freezer, and a bunch of bathroom stuff. And so have that in here. Uh, most of this is gonna be gone either into storage or into the cargo box that I got. So yeah, as you can see, uh, super packed, but again, most of this stuff is gonna go into storage or into my cargo box. That cargo box uh, is gonna be picked up tomorrow in Des Moines, Iowa. And then because it was really the only one in the country that I could find, I think there was one in North Dakota, but uh, it was the only one I could find. It's at a sporting goods store in Des Moines. And then I am actually putting it in a trailer uh, from U-Haul and then bring, pulling it on the Tesla Model Y and then just pulling that for about three or four hours up to the Twin Cities. So I'll be doing that uh, tomorrow morning and then I will drop some of this stuff off then on Sunday morning, I'm gonna head and get the cargo box installed on the roof. And uh, then most of this stuff will be out of the back. Actually, I don't plan to have really much of anything in the back right here, uh, outside of the fridge freezer. And I'll go through all the stuff I got for the camping trips um, coming up over the next few months. I'll do that in a later video. But uh, yeah, it's packed, as you can see. It's, uh, I can't wait to get it out of here so I can actually uh, use the back instead of just storing stuff in the back right now. Okay, well, this is a long one. <laughs> this is the first one that's like, uh, it's, this is one drawback compared to gas. Um, I mean, I knew it was gonna happen, but uh, I mean, a little bit of a unique situation. I'm, I'm actually trying to go like 260, 270 miles or something like that. Uh, so I don't have to stop anymore tonight before I get to the hotel. So as you can see, I got 95% right now. Uh, it says about 10 minutes remaining. It's been about 50, about 50 minutes right now. Um, so yeah, I mean, I went and grabbed something to eat next door at Taco Bell. There's a, uh, grocery store ran over there, uh, went to the bathroom. So, I mean, it worked. It's, this one's definitely taking a little longer than I had hoped, but there was, I think there was probably a charger in between that I could have just left and went to, but I was like, you know what? I just want to, I'm just going to hang out here, grab some food and then hopefully don't have to stop again before I get to the hotel tonight. So yeah, only five minutes remaining. So it took just under an hour. And uh, yeah, so that's the first time, like I said, that I actually felt like, well, this is, uh, this is a little tough compared, tough to take compared to just, you know, five minutes, 10 minutes to fill up with a gas car, but still loving everything, just uh, a little bit, you know, to get used to. But typically I wouldn't be going this far. I'd be going like 100, 100 miles, 150 miles, maybe 200 tops. And so it'd only be like a 15 minute charge, maybe 20 minute charge. Um, this one's definitely had, you know, this one's definitely taken a lot longer simply because as you can see here, it's only filling at 19 kilowatts right now. So once it got to like 60%, it definitely tapered down, um, went from like 140 down to probably about like 80. And then it went to 60 and then to 40. And then, you know, now it's all the way down to like 19. 20 kilowatts so it's it's definitely it's like a trickle <laughs> right now but uh should be out of here soon and then off to Coralville I think it's Coralville Iowa and uh be hanging out there for the night at a hotel and then tomorrow to Des Moines and then to Minneapolis so I will see you at the next stop all right finally getting out of here <laughs> an hour and 10 minutes but that last like three percent took like 30 well it took like 25 minutes almost uh as you can see it says i'll have five percent when i get there so 
I just kind of waited around just for that. I, I Like I said, I probably could have stopped somewhere else on the way, but um, I just didn't want to stop again. So that's it. All right, going on to the last stop tonight. See you guys in a bit. I pull into your driveway, it's a Saturday night You look like a million bucks wearing that dress I like You're smiling but there's something missing in your eyes Girl, I can tell that you have something on your mind But I will make you forget all your sorrows Let go like there's no tomorrow Let's have a drink, just relax, all your problems will fade If you're ready for a good time, count on me There's a party in the backyard, dance your problems away I'm all about the good vibes, I know you're all about the I got an alert on the screen that says to stay below 70 miles an hour to make it to my destination. So speed limit is 65 anyway, so I just set it at 68, 69, right around there. And uh, hopefully should make it. It says I should have four to five percent when I get there. So hopefully that's <laughs> that stays true. Uh, but yeah, I'm trying to draft off this guy uh, in front of me, and I figure you know if I have a few percent left, that's gonna drafting is probably gonna help me get there uh, with ease. So that's pretty much it. I got three hours left still to drive. So uh, this was like a three and a half hour stretch uh, between charging. So I wanted to make it all the way to the hotel and there's charging like right next to the hotel. So um, I will update you when I get in and we'll see uh, how long that goes. I'm, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to probably charge when I get there too, cause I don't wanna have to do it in the morning. So uh, I'm probably gonna go to the supercharger, call the hotel, tell them I might not make it until after midnight. And then uh, as soon as I'm done supercharging, then head to bed and wake up early to head to Des Moines in the morning and then on to Minneapolis in the afternoon. All right, I'll check in with you guys in a bit. All right, another little update. It says I have two hours and 41 minutes left and that I should arrive with eh, seven now. It's fluctuating between seven and 9%. Um, that truck's behind me now that I was drafting on earlier. And uh, so yeah, I don't know, Eight per, yeah, now it says 8%. So right around 8% will uh, hopefully maintain that and uh, should be looking good then. I'll see you at the hotel. All right, so getting into Coralville, Iowa, and as you can see, I have <laughs> like 12 miles left. So cutting in pretty close. I think it's down to like 1% or 2% right now. Uh, we'll see in a second. Um, looks like I gotta go way off the freeway here. Kind of annoying. I don't know if it's that far off the freeway, but it's definitely like on the frontage road back here. So um, get charged up and get to the hotel. This one was definitely cutting it a little close. All right, so <laughs> didn't uh, didn't leave a lot of room for air here. So just pulling in now to the Tesla charger with about uh, three percent. Yep, getting the battery very low signal. So. <laughs> Gonna plug it in real quick and uh, then get the heck over to the hotel to go to bed. Okay, so that was a rough one. That was about three and a half, three hours, 45 minutes straight without stopping. Um, I ended up pulling in here in uh, in Iowa at about, at the supercharger here. Then about 11.45 p.m. and I had 3% left. So it was definitely pretty low but 10 miles left, I guess, or so. It was a little closer than I probably wanted to be, but there was no superchargers in between. Usually there always are, but it was kind of like a back way, I guess. It, was, it wasn't It was a main interstate. Um, it was a two lane. So nonetheless, pretty tired, ready to go to the hotel. It is uh, like almost midnight. I'm gonna charge here for maybe about another 15, 20 minutes, and then the hotel's like five minutes away. And then tomorrow, gotta head to uh, 
Des Moines in the morning, grab the uh, cargo box, then head up to Minneapolis. Um, some notes of interest from today. Autopilot was fantastic. Loved it, no problems really at all. I do notice that when you're pass, if you're in the right lane and you're passing, let's say, um, an on-ramp or an off-ramp, sometimes the car, like, because the left side will have the hash, you know, the middle, the middle uh, line, the right is kind of wider right there. So it kind of like floats to the right and then has to like correct itself and come all the way back. So that kind of, uh, that's kind of a bug, I guess. I don't know why they don't just have it so that it, it follows the left line, even if the right line goes like that. So not exactly sure what's going on there. Um, that's something they definitely got to work out. Um, that one charge was pretty long. That was like an hour, which kind of sucked, but um, that's one reason I'm getting in so late. But again, like I said, that was kind of a rare thing with that long of a stretch, like 250, 260 miles in between. So all in all, pretty good, a little tired, ready to go to bed. One other note of interest was something I probably mentioned earlier, but that was when I left the last supercharger, it had me charged to basically a hundred percent because it said it wanted to make sure that I made it all, you know, I had enough juice to get all the way to, uh, to Iowa here. And what it ended up doing though, is as soon as I got on the freeway, I went about a mile and then it told me to basically go and turn around and come back and, and charge for another 15 minutes. So, uh, it kind of screwed me up because I was like in St. Louis and I didn't know exactly where I was going. Um, I just ended up staying on the same freeway and then eventually um, I just put in a city as a destination instead of a supercharger and then it took it fine and it said I should have 5% just like it previously had with the supercharger but this time it actually let me it actually let me go there. Okay now we got a charging error. Okay, charging stopped. Charging equipment reports error. Check equipment for error code message. All right, we gotta see what's up with this. I'm not sure what's going on. It's midnight, it's the last thing I wanna do is deal with stuff like this. So I went to unhook and I could feel the temperature was really hot on the, uh, on, on the charger. So ended up just moving spots two, two next to it, and two down and no problems now. So it's charging again. So not sure what was going on there, but a little uh, little quirk there. So uh, I'm gonna stay probably another 15 minutes and then get the heck out of here. A little bit of action over here. I was a little fun at the supercharger. 